So very good afternoon to all and all present. Myself Bakshi Nair, along with my teammates Ashutosh Tyagi, Vijay Salavadi and Vasi Gupta, are here present to present our BAS project on license report generation on cadence purchaser tool. So I'll give you a brief introduction about the project. Okay. So as I said, our project is on license report generation. So in this license report, we would enable the user to calculate the total number of licenses, the licenses in use and the expiry date of licenses for different features used in Cadence Virtuoso tool like layout, design, schematic design, analog design environment, physical verification like DRC and LBS. Also we have developed the GUI for this report using ZDT command and uh, so we will start with a brief description of our project through a presentation and then we will show you the actual working of our project. So I would like to call my teammate Vasavi to give you a brief description of our project. Thank you. Hello everyone. Now I am going to tell you how actually our project is working and how it will look on Shell and GUI as well. So uh, see, this is project overview. I mean, these are the features which uh, um, among which we are you are going to choose any one feature. And uh, these are the sub features of the, those. Like if you are choosing layout, so for layout you can know the total license issue the license in use and expiry <coughs> and uh, there are two interfaces on which we work the first one is bash shell and the other one is gui that is graphic design okay this uh, this is the dialog box which uh, this is the, this is on the bash shell in which you will select that you want to choose between uh, the shell or the gui now when you choose shell then these options will occur if in case you use GUI, then this option will be uh, This box is made by ZDT. This dialog box is done. Okay, now if you have chosen Bash shell, these options will occur. And if you choose, select, uh, suppose you choose uh, Virtuoso, then you can choose following options for Virtuoso. That you want to know the total license issue, the license in use, or the expiry date, whatever. If you have uh, entered the wrong option, then definitely it will uh, pose that you have entered the wrong choice. Same as with GUI, right? it will show the wrong choice. Template. Okay, these are the logs of getting. We will check the logs online. The, uh, if we have chosen the expiry date for any feature, let's say we have chosen 18 default, then it will show uh, the it will show the expiry date. This is how it shows on bash shell, and this is how it shows on GUI. And these are the overall statistics of the bash shell. These, uh, I mean, various features are there: one, 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 LB, configurable, so and LBS, DRC. And these are the uh, sub features which, will, which is going to show. This will occur on GUI using the same here, using the dialog box in the board. And this is a like the thing uh, we want to put it or not. This is how it occurs on bash shell, and this on GUI. Thank you. Now actually we will show you the actual working of our project. It will work. We will have two interfaces as she said. This bash shell and these entities. So it will be explained by my teammate. It is uh, Ashutosh Tyagi first with bash. Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain how this is working on bash shell. For this option we are, we are going to choose shell. When, when, we, when we enter the choice one, then this will this this these are the following features which, which we have used which we have, which we are using in the life in the licenses. This this is virtuoso. This is the basic virtuoso virtuoso tool. This is ADE and other following features. <coughs> if if we are if we want to go back to the interface selection, we give the give the value I. Or if we want to quit the program right now, then we can give the value Q. Let's suppose we are we are going to see what the what the statistics of AD, then we are going to enter the value B. Then it will ask what are the choice of information you want. 
The choice is our total licenses issued, licenses in use, and expiry date. And we can also we can also show overall statistics at the same time. Let's suppose we are going to choose licenses in use. Then we enter two. Then it it runs an LM, LM set. It runs an LM set command, which is which is but what it is doing is it is calculating what. All the it is calculating all the stats related to the licenses and store a store a value or store a log <coughs> to a temp to a temp directory and uh, and using an op function we are displaying its total licenses in in ADE here. Then next is it asks for how you want to proceed. If you want to go for ADE further. Then you choose previous menu. If you want to go for any other option, you can choose main menu, but you can also quit from the here. Suppose if one we want to go back to the main menu, we will choose two. Now here is an option of all features. Through these features, we can we can show all the all all the stats about every feature at the same time. Choose A. Suppose we want to we want to see expiry date of all feature at the same time. We enter three, and these are the expiry dates of all the features: triple one, ADE, DRC, LPS. Then now we, now we want to quit from our project. Okay, now we are going to to previous menu. Then we can show overall stats of all the feature at the same time. These are the these are this is the basic basic function which can show all the features and all of its stats at the same time. Now we can quit. Now we have we want to quit them. Now we want to change the interface. Then we have to go for the main menu. Now we choose the function i to change the interface selection, and for the for, for further explanation of GUI, I would like to call Nitesh Shalawadi. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Nitesh Shalawadi, and I will be telling you about the GUI part that is graphical user interface using the Zenity command, and we have also used uh, another command which is uh, known as Yard, and I'll be explaining you about that also. So press two for the GUI. So here is the dialog box. This is known as the Pulsate dialog box, uh, and uh, uh, we have used uh, we have used Zenity command for creating the GUIs, uh, and we have uh, there are lots of options in creating GUIs. For example, entry GUI, Pulsate GUI, information uh, error, or uh, exit GUI. So we have chosen a certain amount of a certain number of uh, features for the GUI for the Zenity command. So first one is <coughs> uh, this uh, enter the choice for the following features. So this we have uh, used using the entry command. So now I want to know about the statistics of the virtuoso. So press A for virtuoso. So this dialog box will occur and it will tell us about the what the user wants to know. That is uh, total licenses issued or licenses in use, the expiry date or the overall statistics. And you have the option to return to the previous menu or to the main menu where the uh, overall where the features were written. So I want to know the licenses in use for the particular feature triple one. That is for the virtuoso. Then I have to press two. Now this is the LM status running. Please wait. This shows that uh, when we press any option, uh, the logs will update. For example, in our lab, uh, for 10, 10 PCs are there and uh, Virtuoso is running on 5 PCs. So simultaneously, updation is needed. That is, uh, after every time, uh, if I want to know the exact number of licenses that are being used in our lab, so I have to know the correct number. So I want the uh, proper updation after every feature I press. So I have pressed for the licenses news. So this two licenses tell us that two licenses are being used for the feature virtuoso. I'll press OK after that. Now it will ask 
if I want to go to the previous menu or to the main menu or I want to quit directly. So I want to go to the previous menu or main menu, then I press two. Now here also we have given the interface selection like I now I don't want to see on uh, the features on the GUI, I want to see on the uh, bash shell. Then I can change it pressing the I. Now I want to see the features for all the features at the same time. Now then I'll press the capital A. Here also it's asking about uh, what stats do you want to see. Now I want to see the overall statistics, then I'll press 4. Now LF chat is running, the logs are being updated here. And after that the logs are updated, we will get this output on this dialog box. Uh, okay, press OK. I also want to show about the yard command which is similar to the uh, Zenity. But it has an additional feature that we can use a justify option here. Like uh, if I want to uh, output in a particular row, row in a justified manner, then I have to go, go to opt for yard command instead of Zenity. So we have used that yard command in expiry dates. Now I want to go for press A and then press 3 for the expiry date. Now this is uh, the dialog box that we have generated using the yard command because uh, in Zenity the justified option is not there so we have cho chosen the yard command and it is the dates are getting justified here and we are getting in a similar row so we have used uh, yard for the uh, Zen, uh, expiry date so we have created this UI using Zenity as well as the yard command. Now I want to quit the program directly from here I will press 3. Now it will ask, compiler will ask whether to quit or to or not to quit. So I want to quit. So I will press yes. So this is exiting of the Thank you. Thank you. Any questions?